G'day lads and welcome back to another video in the channel. A-League is not far too long before we head on to a new season in 2024. We are back for A-League's content, content in the channel like where we first off since I started this channel. But we are here for A-League's Australia Cup Finals. Four teams are in the playoffs for the Australia Cup Final. And that's four teams including Brisbane Roar, Newcastle Jets, Perth Glory and Western United. Four teams has finished off uh, bottom four last year's seasons. And now they're setting up for a high profile game in A-League's men history. And I'll be going through my predictions to see who will be going and advancing to this Australia Cup final. And I'll be possibly, possibly I'll live stream if I get the chance to whether or not, um, but the majority of these is that uh, I'll try my best and get this A-League, this sorted out so I can get this content getting out back straight away. And But yeah, why not we just get straight to my predictions. But before we get to do this, uh, make sure you guys subscribe if you are new, watching this video and liking this video so that you just give, give me a feedback and drop a comment down below on who's advancing out of these four teams will be playing at the Australia Cup final. This game is going to be very, very tricky for me to predict. But out of all of these uh, play, uh, teams, they've been very competitive over the last years when the A-League season has started. Um, but I'm going to be looking at for Brisbane Roar versus Perth Glory. And if we can make this difference, last meeting last year was Brisbane Roar 2-1 over Perth Glory at 26 November 2023. And then after the second meeting, it was Perth Glory getting over Brisbane Roar in a thrilling match, 3-2 at 17th of February. I don't know if this game could predict another close game, but I, other than that, I'm just waiting for a, a good game and see who's the first team to advance this Australia Cup final playoffs. So one win apiece by these two, and one of them will seal a score on who's winning this uh, meeting. Now I'm quickly to see those two sides um, giving it everything they got to um, start up this pre-A-League season for the Australia Cup Final. And I quite say frequently, Brisbane Roar were like really, really amazing at the start of the season. They started pretty well, but I think the team lineups is gonna get a lot more trickier because they're, they're up in an Australia Cup Final. They, they wanted to prove themselves that they wanna be the better team when the A-League season, the real season starts off and I'm generally will be surprised on what will happen by these two sides gonna give everything, prove the, the attackings for both teams but I think Brisbane Roar and Perth Glory is like another great two sides to like watch and play and see how they, they overcome their attackings. And don't forget, um, Brisbane Roar were like chasing up at the Australia Cup final when we were up there up against Sydney FC and I don't remember exactly who that name was, but I think Brisbane play one Brisbane Roar player scored the first goal for Brisbane Roar and then it ended up falling short against Sydney FC thanks to Fabio Gomez. Until then, Sydney FC were the Australia Cup champions. Look, this is going to be a close game if I do predict this one. I'm gonna expect, I expect to see some couple of goals by these two sides, but I think Perth Glory might get over Brisbane Roar in the nick of the time. So I think I'm gonna, I'm going 2-1 Perth Glory way, just to see if Adam Taggart or any, any players from Perth Glory that can seal that game with an exclamation mark. And I do, I do possibly see a 50-50 chance. It might take some time by these two sides to like get the adjustments right when they're attacking. It's not going to be very, very easy to get the, this goal very, very quickly. Because obviously there's some new players that, and it's it, specifically everyone, every player who's like joining a new club. It's going to take some time. And I do, I do understand the fact that this might take some time. Now we moved on to Newcastle Jets taking on Western United. Again, two sides have been in a struggle season last year and they they will get something out of their hands and will try shape these things up by these two sides. And now they've got some couple of good uh, players who've been drafted to their club right now. I don't know exactly who. Western United's gun player, uh, Daniel Pereira has left the club um, due to something the family family uh, focuses on and I do wish for Daniel Pereira to stay and play for another year for Western United 
but until then that's just how it is the, the contract it does not get any perfect and it's just disappointing to see your specific and gun players that are like really good and very important i bet this is will be a cracking game and all i can say is that get this get this thing sorted out because it's not gonna be but out of all of these four sides they need to be ready in the next season it's gonna be a very very challenging year in order to get these things perfectly so we can have a look at the last meeting from last year's season is for newcastle jets and western united um western united and newcastle jets um uh, actually fought in a really hot fought battle but newcastle got over uh neil won um at uh, Ballarat at 11th of November 2023 it was a really tight game and Newcastle just found a way and then after that second meeting was Newcastle just thrashing Western United 2-0 at their home ground but then another third meeting is Western United beating Newcastle at home ground so this game could shape another game 2-1 record by these two in favour of Newcastle Jets and I, if Western United would possibly win this playoff, then they could set up a record by their last meeting and compare this to all before the next A-League season starts up when they meet again. Stamina Topolopis uh, from Newcastle Jets, another great, great um, striker for Newcastle Jets. Um, I, can, I can say and describe these things up if I was a Newcastle Jets. If I was, was um, I would give them a rate out of 1 out of 10 if they have this new possible uh, faces. But Clayton Taylor, another young gun from Newcastle in the left wing. He's got quick speed. Uh, his agility is a really, really amazing and I'm quite happy to say at least that if Newcastle were able to use Clayton Taylor as the left wing, then there's possible chance that they might win this game unless if Western United has like another tactic to like stop Clayton Taylor or Stapanotopoulos from scoring goals. Now we go to Western United. Some really new faces and I'm generally seeing um, the only, one thing is uh, and one player that I specifically know is Hiroshi Ibizuki from Adelaide United going to uh, Western United so there's some really familiar faces that we would possibly see and some changes could really happen when A-League starts in the next couple of months so just two months away from it and I'm really generally happy to see what will it take by these new faces that could possibly produce by these uh, any players that Ibizuki as well from Adelaide United he's a really great player he had a fantastic fatigue last season uh, I do remember that he scored five goals or four from Hiroshi Ibizuki when it was United round against Sydney FC he was really impressive by the, and I do remember that assist from Nesta Unikunda giving to Ibizuki then that was when Adelaide United were starting to get their shapes up but until then they fall off and that's when Ibizuki decided to, to like you know have like some time off from um, Adelaide United giving a farewell and that's when he moved to uh, Western United to like see some new faces for Newcastle Jets and Western United game this is going down to a while and I'm seeing a fatigue a lot of improve a lot of efforts a lot of chances especially but I think I, I th I'm gonna go Western United 2-1 again another close contest game so that wraps up my a-League's Australia Cup Finals Playoffs prediction. If you guys want your thoughts and share them to me as well, drop it in the comments below and give me your predictions on who's winning this playoff for A-League's Australia Cup. And get ready because A-League is not too far along. So be prepared and we will see you. And I'll see you guys in the next couple of A-League videos. Thank you guys for watching and I hope you guys enjoy this video.